It's very quiet down at Bigot's Wharf today. Too quiet. Hello? Anybody about? Spanner? Hmm. Place is deserted, Fairport. Hang on. What's this? It's from Wilton Cashmore. Please deliver tin of paint to Cranford Depot. All that way for this? <laughs> well, Fairport, it's their money. No, no, no. Champagne glasses on the right, Mrs Carrier. On the right. When Mr and Mrs Bigot come to tea, everything has to be perfect. So, what would you like me to do now? Take the rest of the day off. But don't you want me to serve tea? No, don't you worry yourself about that. I'll manage. <laughs> Wilton Cashmore, what are you up to? Well, I think I'll go into Grimm's Pool and do some shopping. Yes, good idea, Mrs Carrier. You have a nice time. Right, that's another one out of the way. Can't risk having Joshua Jones and his friends around when the managing director of Bigot Industries pays a visit. <laughs> Hiya, Sharon. Hiya! Have you seen Spanner around? Cashmore's given him the day off. What? He said he ought to have a day in country for to get some fresh air. So he's gone to help Joel Lasky get his hair in. Cashmore's either gone loopy or he's up to something. Hey, you're closing a bit early, aren't you? Yeah. I've got this job helping out a friend of mine what's got a catering business. Ta-da! Struth. Oh, this hair weighs a ton. Good exercise for you, Ravi. Build up your muscles. I can carry three at a time. Easy. Well, why don't you, then? Hey? Well, because, Fiona, I'm having what's known as a... <laughs> a day off. Oh, you thirsty. Me too. Hey, have you been drinking our pop? <coughs> what? Eh, no, no, there you are, Fiona. Thanks, Spanner. I thought you'd come help me. We got half blooming fields still to do. And here you are, having picnic. Just getting our strength up, Joe. Want a booty? No, thanks. No time. I must get finished before storm come. Rotten wet hay make cows sick. What makes you think there's a storm coming? I not think, Spanner. I know. I got bunion, what always twitch if rain on the way. Oh, that's handy. What a lovely day for me. Mr. Bigot's coming to tea. Another full of all, Mrs. Bigot. Yes, they are very nice. Where's that silver service waiter got to? I told them three o'clock. Ah, excellent. Come in. What's up, Mr Cashmore? Haven't you never seen a waitress before? You all right, Fairport? Something the matter, old fruit? Ah, thunder. Go on, then. You go inside. Yes, yeah, somebody's going to get a soaking. Joe Lasky's hay! It'll be ruined. Hold tight, Fairport. We're going into overdrive. Hey, this do you good, Spanner. Oh, do me in more like. <laughs> Last one. <coughs> Spanner! Oh, blow it, Omar. Give it here. Yeah. Oh, they are, Joe. Uh, that's it. We've done it. Now I take hay up to barn. No, you stay up there, Joe. I'll drive. Okie dokie. I'm an expert tractorizer. Oh, well, you take care, Spanner. Go steady. I not want any. Oh! Hey, lovely. This is more like it, eh? <laughs> hey, oh, holy baloney. Oh. 
Oh, hey, Spanner, not that way. You're heading straight for the ditch. No problem. Oh, oh, Spanner. Oh, oh, steamy did. Are you hurt? Why don't you say something? Of uh, course. Because if I do, I blink and swear. I think you've got a flat tyre. Oh, I think I like flatten your head. Look at my hay. Eh, oh, it get ruined. Look, it's Josh. He'll know what to do. Get ready, Fairport. Go. Right. Load the bales onto the boat. I'll back into the tunnel. That way the hay will stay dry. OK? I asked for a silver service waiter, not a... Excuse a, me. ..a cafe girl. I am about to Mr. play Cashmore. host to a very important... Mr Cashmore! VRP. It's starting to rain! What? Quick, get everything inside. Oh, all the work I've put into these preparations. All the care and, 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 and work. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Stupid girl! What the? Oh, thunder! Save me! <laughs> Come on, Spanner! Keep them coming! Oh, oh, oh it's not rain any minute! Rally, cast off! Right, everybody on. Ugh. Oh, Josh, we missed one. We'll get it, Mr Lasky. Come on. What shall I do, Josh? Stay put, Fiona. It's too late. I did cover under that tree. Randy, no! Come back! Come back! Why? What's up? Oh! It's Mr. Bigot. Oh, cotton socks. Don't say anything. Leave it to me. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Bigot. Mrs. Bigot. Um, awful weather we're having at the moment. <clears throat> Anybody care for a volleyball? Uh, they're homemade. Blooming Ummer, Ravi. That could have been you. You should never go under trees in a thunderstorm. Trees attract lightning, don't they, Josh? This one certainly did. Well, then, the next thunderstorm, what we have, I'm going to stand right here. Why? Because lightning never strikes the same place twice, does it? <laughs> what the matter, Spanner? I only start tractor up. <sighs> and this was supposed to be my day off. <sighs> I'd rather be at work. Some people live in the country. Some people live in the city or town. Some people live at the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua's 